Island. You can listen to our next program for North America on the East Coast at 2130 hours UTC on 7310 and 9430 kHz, as well as on the internet at ri.ro channel 1. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write an email at engl at ri.ro. Goodbye. <coughs> So uh, this is, oh, there's something wrong with the, uh, I think it's the power button that has a problem. Um, so this is the good old Kenwood R5000 that I um, actually uh, purchased um, back in 1990-ish. I don't think it's 1989. If I'm trying to kind of think of when, pretty sure it's 1990. And uh, this replaced what was for many, many years my main radio which was a realistic DX302 and of course they are worlds apart in performance and and how they are uh, this of course has been now uh, fixed thanks to uh, fast load that you guys see in the chat room uh, my friend Eric is uh, pretty good with electronics he recapped the whole radio uh, performs well, has a little issue as you've seen with the power button that seems to be uh, a little on the light side, but it works great. Uh, it also has fitted a pan adapter that I haven't actually done anything yet and need to actually try out uh, soon. Uh, so um, it's pretty uh, pretty cool. It's going to be a little upgrade here. Uh, still a cool radio to uh, to use and look at when you, when you check it out and um, I mean well. Um, this this gave me a lot of DXing and a lot of stations over the years. Still remember one of the uh, fond memories I have is uh, going to uh, going to four nine zero four point five, and you might say, well, what's on four nine zero four point five? Well, back uh, back in the day, it was a station that was. Uh, Réseau National Chadien, and um, that was one of the stations I would listen to uh, for uh, at, before going to bed back in the day. Pretty amazing. It's interesting when I look at the n noise I got here, which is not present when it's not plugged. Which so there's something weird with, uh, happening with this right now. But for the rest, pretty cool. That's uh, it's 240 meter band SSB on this thing, or at least tune some SSB signals. I think the uh, okay, here we go. 6604 should be here, upper side band. Seem to be very weak. If it's there, it's not. Yeah, it's there, but it's very weak. I can uh, check out. Let's check out 3485. There we go. We got the EJC. Either fast, and you see how it dropped fast. And when I talk about EGC, this is a great example. When you're listening to this, you want to have it slow. It has less time to drop. It moves a little bit of static at the same time. So this is Gander, Newfoundland. So this is really, really a, a cool radio. And um, anyone that has a good working Kenwood R5000. Uh, you you got a great radio, you know, you don't need to upgrade to anything These are fantastic radios the only problem with the uh, R5000 if you ever purchase one or if you ever or if you own one is uh, the dreaded dots issue which is the display showing just dots because the PLL loses its lock It is the known issue to this and to the TS450 which shares uh, 440 or 450 which shares Kind of the same design as a transceiver. So uh, pretty happy uh, to have it back and uh, it's really cool to uh, 
to have it working. I'm gonna leave it here on the bench a little bit more for uh, tuning around. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.